Hello, I'm Helen Hobden from Ocean Creations and for the next couple of weeks I'm going to be making some circus inspired outfits and I'll show you what I'm going to make them with. First of all, I've had this box of beautiful soft velvets, all these offcuts for some time. So I'm going to use these because I thought it'd be the perfect sort of thing. Mostly pinks, purples, some reds, and a little bit of cream in here. So I'm looking forward to using those. It's so soft. I think it's a silk viscose mix. Really, really pretty. And to go with that, I've got these pieces of Indian tunics. And the embellishments on them are beautiful. So I'm gonna get some of these and use these to go with the velvet to make make some pretty tops. And then I'll probably make some silk bloomers to go with them. So I'll keep you posted about how it all goes. And it gets some off cuts and some bits of fabric that's not wanted, all used to make some pretty new things. Look at this one. I love that. Look at that. And that would look stunning with the purple velvet. Let me get the purple. Oh, there's a bit here. Look. How beautiful is that together? So I think I'll make a top with those too, definitely. Okay, see you again soon. Bye. So this is how I've made the tops with the panels that I showed you earlier. And I thought they were finished, but then I think I'm going to add another panel because there's a bit of side boob going on here. And also that strap is too low to cover a bra strap. So I'm going to add another bit of fabric just to go across here and then I think they'll be done and I shall and I really like the pattern so I'm going to try and make myself a paper one to make the whole process a little quicker than just draping it over the mannequin and make some more <laughs> I've solved the problem of the bra strap. I think it's quite important if a lady's hanging upside down off an aerial hoop that they probably want to wear a bra. So I've done this extra panel here and on this one here and um, all set to go. No accident should be happening in that top so I'm quite pleased with that and I really like that design of the way I've used the panel there. So I'm going to do a few more and my next one is going to be this beautiful piece. Look at those pretty sparkles. Love it. Love it a lot. And a slightly darker purple velvet. So that'll be tomorrow's project. Right, so I don't normally do patterns and um, they make my brain hurt. But as I'm doing um, quite a few of the same design top, I thought I would have a go at making one. Just to speed things up, I'm hoping. Um, with making these tops. As you can see, my technique is rather rough.
of any of you sewers are interested, this is an overlock stitch for stretch fabrics, which on my machine is number eight, which looks like oh, that, that stitch. I'm trying to get on, but this little cutie cat keeps distracting me, and now my other cat's just come in. They should. They shouldn't be in here, they sneak in. Anyway, yes, I've got something to show you, but I'll get rid of this gorgeous little thing first. Like that is the reason the cats aren't allowed in here. They just molt all over the place. That's my skirt and I'm just covered now. I just have to go and sellotape myself off. <laughs> that sounds a bit odd. Right, I wanted to show you these bloomers I made the other day. Um, to go with the circus collection I'm making at the moment. Um, yeah, I they were a bit bright, so I tried to bleach them, but instead of going lighter, the colour came out of the bloomers and mixed together in the bucket, and rather than bleaching them, I actually sort of just turned them a bit purple. So it turned out really nice, actually. I'll show you. So there's the pink pair and that bright 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 pink there was what they originally were oh the cat's trying to come in again go away go away go away right then sorry and now they've gone sort of this really pretty mottledy purpley pinky colour so I'm really pleased with it actually and the other pair was turquoise. They started off there, and rather than going lighter with the bleach, they've gone darker. And again, sort of got this sort of mottledy blue, which is really pretty. So I'm really pleased with the effect. And there was so much dye in the bucket, I thought, why not try having a go dyeing some white fabrics that needed making more interesting. So. This was the result. They've gone really pretty, sort of lilac-y, pinky colour. I did, for any dyers out there, I used vinegar with this lot to keep them as a mordant. Usually I use salt with cottons, but I thought I'd have a go with vinegar and it was fine. So, yeah, really pleased with that. I shall probably do some kids fairy dresses with this muslin. And, uh these old vintage tablecloths. Extra, extra pretty now. Yeah, so that's it, that's all. Just wanted to show you that quickly. That's bye from me.
it's eight o'clock on Friday evening. Oh no, half past eight on Friday evening, and I'm still working because the weather forecast at last is looking good for tomorrow. So I'm hoping to get the circus collection photoed and done and completed. I'm nearly there. I've just got two bustles to go. I'm sort of figuring out how to bustle this bustle, and I need to wash this scarf before I use it on this bustle. And then I should be done. I might do a few more accessories to go with it. And uh, then we're done. Hopefully I'll show you the completed circus collection tomorrow. Okay, bye. So that's it, that's the circus collection, or well, the latest circus collection finished. So now it's time to take it off and do a photo shoot. Bye!